guys this is malinki welcome back to my channel voice of malinki today we will talk about types of skull in reptiles and if you are new in my channel please subscribe my channel and if you like my video please do like comment and share my video so first of all what is skull so skull is the bony structure that forms the head in vertebrates actually reptiles possess large head and big jaws they have large heads and big jaws but small necks therefore the skull becomes too heavy for the neck to support this because of this uh, fenestry or hole or you can say some openings these are developed in reptiles to lighten the skull so in their skull we will get some holes or openings these are just to to make them lighten and reptiles have large jaws and their jaws contain powerful muscles so the holes or fenestry of skull also provide space to accommodate those powerful jaw muscles so fenestry first of all it lighten the skull and second it provides space to accommodate jaw muscles right now let's talk about types of skull in reptiles so there are five types of skull in reptiles first is anapsid skull first is anapsid skull now this type of skull does not possess any fenestry it does not have any fenestry or hole now uh, this skull is actually completely covered by bones and there is no openings or no holes in this type of skull so anapsid skull is very heavy and strong they are very heavy and strong and this is the most primitive type of skull most primitive type of skull and found this is found in reptiles so it was found in labyrinthodont amphibians also it was found in labyrinthodont amphibians these were primitive amphibians and primitive reptiles like saemoria so these types of skulls were found in primitive reptiles and primitive amphibians and anapsid uh, skulls were found in fast reptiles these were found in fast reptiles and those reptiles uh, they mainly appeared in uh, carboniferous period so that time the reptiles had this type of skull tortoise and turtle they still possess anapsid skull actually they have a small head right tortoise have small head and teeth are also absent in their jaws therefore their neck can bear the heavy weight of this type of skull because the skull itself is small and there is no teeth in their skull or in their jaws so this type of uh, this type of skull is called anapsid skull and if we see this picture this is uh, anapsid skull this is drawn by me so here we will see the anatomy of skull very quickly because uh, in the next slides we have to understand this now this thing is orbit so this is orbit so orbit orbit is basically a hole where the eyes of the reptiles are placed 
and then it is nasal cavity so this is nasal cavity again this is one more hole or cavity where the nose is present and next we can see that these all are different different bones which are present in the skull of the reptiles so starting from here this one is a uh, maxilla and then before maxilla this is pre maxilla so starting from here first is maxilla before maxilla is pre maxilla then here this is nasal because this bone is associated with the nasal cavity or nose then here this bone is lacrimal this is the lacrimal and then here it is the frontal frontal because uh, this is this bone is just placed in the front part of their skull and then here this is actually pre orbital before orbit means it is pre orbital just above orbit it is supra orbital and just after orbit this is post orbital so in this way you can remember the names of the bones and this is uh, actually parietal and below parietal they have squamosal and after squamosal it is quadrato jugal this bone is quadrato jugal and then it is jugal after quadrato jugal this is jugal so this is the anatomy of skull bones so first type is anapsid skull where no any hole or fenestry is present second type second type is uriapsid skull this is uriapsid skull so this type of skull poses as one fenestry on both sides of the skull one fenestry on both sides of the skull so here you can see this is the fenestra this is one more hole this is one more opening that is present in both sides of the skull so this is you can see one side and another side also has one more fenestra so this is the hole this is present here in this type of skull uriapsid uh, skull was found in marine reptiles which are extinct now they are now extinct and this type of skull arose from diapsid skull from diapsid skull this uriapsid skull arose so diapsid skull actually had two fenestry so diapsid skull had two fenestry but when uriapsid skull arose from it one fenestra of diapsid skull got sealed and it was done to strengthen their skulls for surviving under water because these animals were marine so they had to sustain huge water pressure right so to sustain that much of pressure one hole or fenestra got sealed otherwise if two holes were there brain became too light and it was difficult to resist water pressure so this is uriapsid skull third type is parapsid skull this is parapsid skull so like uriapsid skull this type of skull or parapsid skull also poses as one fenestra on both sides so this is the fenestra this green one is the fenestra so only one fenestra is present in both side this is as it is like uriapsida then what is the difference between these two types so this pair of fenestra are actually guarded by two additional bones so in this type of skull you can see two additional bones which were absent in uriapsid skull so these two bones are actually post frontal this one so this bone is post frontal one is this and another is this one that is supra temporal 
this yellow one is the supra temporal so these two bones were extra in this parapsid skull which was absent in uriapsid skull these two extra bones like post frontal and supra temporal they push the post orbital so what is post orbital this one is post orbital this post orbital and this squamosal so this one is the squamosal so these two bones these post orbital and squamosal bones are actually pushed towards the lower side right like these these are pushed towards the lower side because of these two extra bones supra temporal and post frontal and this type of skull was found in dolphin like aquatic animals so this is parapsid skull next type is synapsid skull this is next type so like uriapsid and parapsid skull this type of skull also possesses one fenestra on both sides one fenestra on both sides of the skull so this one is the fenestra you can see one fenestra in this side another fenestra in the opposite side of the skull but this pair of fenestrae are present at the bottom of the skull you can see this are present at the bottom of the skull hence they are also called inferior temporal cavity why they are also called inferior temporal cavity because this fenestra is placed at the bottom of the skull and in this type of skull the fenestrae are guarded by post orbital this one is the post orbital right post orbital and squamosal so these two bones post orbital and squamosal these bones above the uh, inferior temporal cavity these bones are guarding this cavity above and below we will see that this is the jugal so this jugal this bone and uh, one more is this quadrato jugal this one this one is quadrato jugal so these two bones this quadrato jugal and jugal these bones below the cavity below the fenestra are protecting or guarding the fenestra and above the fenestra squamosal and this post orbital bones are guarding them and this type of skull was found in mammal like reptiles found in mammal like reptiles and they later gave rise to mammals so this is fourth type of skull and the last type is diapsid skull this is the last type so this type of skull possesses two fenestrae on both sides that means total four fenestrae are present two at one side two at another side and they are named superior temporal vacuity and inferior temporal vacuity so one is superior that is present above the skull and below the skull is present inferior temporal vacuity so these two uh vacuity or these two fenestrae are present in this side of the skull and in the opposite side of the skull also these two types of vacuities or fenestrae are present and the superior temporal vacuity is guarded by parietal so this one is parietal right parietal and post orbital you can see this is the 
post orbital so this superior temporal vacuity is guarded by parietal and post orbital as well as squamosal because this one is the squamosal so total three bones are present which are guarding the superior temporal vacuity now inferior temporal vacuity is surrounded by this post orbital this one is the post orbital right then squamosal squamosal and jugal and quadrato jugal jugal and quadrato jugal so these are four bones which are guarding inferior temporal vacuity now this type of skull is lighter and spacious for accommodation of jaw muscles why they are lighter because they have four openings four holes so these types of skulls are lighter and they they are more spacious for accommodation of jaw muscles diapsid skull is found in living reptiles and extinct dinosaurs so all the reptiles which are present now except turtles and tortoises they have diapsid skull and dinosaurs also had this type of skull